Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Kyle and today we'll be covering more of the st story of baby Moses. So last week we had Travis with us to teach us, but this week he's camping right now because if you remember he was a little scared to go camping, but he went anyways. God was with him and there was so much sunshine and playing in the sun and swimming and he's having a great time. So. We're going to talk a little bit about what we learned last week, and we're going to learn some new things this week. So, last week we learned that baby Moses was left in a basket by his mom because he had to get away from the bad pharaoh, right? She put him down the river, and he was being watched by, by God, who was keeping him safe, and by his sister, who was hiding on the side of the river. And as he was floating down, the princess of Egypt saw him and said, Oh, there's a basket over there. Servants, go and get that. So his servants that were helping him, helping her um, with holding her, her towel and her water went over and grabbed the basket and brought it over. And what did he think they found inside? Baby Moses. You're right. They found baby Moses. Can you imagine if you found a basket in a river, you opened it up and there was a baby inside? That would be so silly. I think she must have been very surprised. So after that happened, she was saying, I don't know how I'm going to watch this baby. I need to find somebody to help me watch this baby. It's too little for me to watch. And who is, who is there spying on them? Oh, you're right. Moses' sister was spying from the bushes and be like, oh, she ran up. She ran up and said, I know, I know, I know who can watch baby Moses. So she brought baby Moses' mommy. And the, her, his mommy got to watch him. God was always with Moses. So even when he needed somebody, he was God made it so that Moses' own mommy can go watch him anyways. Even though she had to give him up, God made it so that she can get him back. When Moses got older, though, is what we're going to talk about today. See, a few years late had passed, and now Moses was a boy, and he lived in a big palace with giant pillars like this one that held up big buildings. He lived in this kind of this big kingdom. Um, it's kind of like a castle, but in Egypt. And so he lived with the whole prince family, um, the prince and the king and the queen and the, the princess. And he was able to be taught by all these really smart people. He learned how to read and write. But you know what he really probably missed when he was there without his family? He missed his family, huh? He felt probably pretty lonely without them. But you know what? God was with him the whole time. He never left him. So did he really have to feel lonely? No, he didn't. Because God was there making sure he was safe and making sure he was okay and having a good time as a prince, right? So to help us remember that God is always with us, we are going to make crowns so that we can be princes and princesses just like uh, Moses was a prince. So in order to make this project, you're going to need two pieces of paper, two pieces of regular paper, you can use any color you want your crown to be. So it can be purple or blue or green, whatever your favorite colors are. Or even two colors, if you want to. Use something to decorate your, your crown with. I have markers, but you can also use glue and glitter and whatever you want for your crown. Just remember, glue and glitter sometimes need some time to dry. And you're also going to need some scissors and... Very important, some tape. And you might need some help from mommy and daddy for this one. So don't be afraid to ask for help. So first we're gonna take our paper, our two pieces of paper actually, and we're gonna tape them together just like this. And we're gonna make sure we tape on both sides. So I'm gonna take my tape just like this, and I'm gonna tape on both sides. Nice and big piece of tape on both sides of this crown, making sure. So there's one side from top 
to bottom. And then I'm now I'm going to take the other side so it's very strong. And now we have the first part of our crown. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our crown and we are going to fold it a few times. So we're going to fold it like this. And your mommy and daddy can help you with this. So you're going to fold it big folds like this. You know, fold it over. It might be easier for you to do it on the table, but I'm holding up so you can see. Fold it over like that. Fold it over again like that. And you keep on doing that all the way down. Until everything is all folded up. Okay. So now I have all of this folded up. And so I'm going to take my scissors, being very careful, and I'm going to cut the top off. If it helps you, maybe your mommy or daddy can draw the lines of where you need to cut. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw my lines at the top of how I want the shape to be. So that's my shape. I'm going to do a mountain with kind of a ball on top shape because I think that makes a really fun crown. So then I'm going to take that and I'm going to cut along my lines. Just like that. Making sure to be very careful to make sure my hands are out of the way so I don't hurt my fingers. I'm almost done. We're almost there. And if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video and then start push play when you're done. And when you unfold it, your crown will be done. But before it's done, are we just going to leave it like this? No. We are prince and princesses. We're going to decorate this thing. So you can take all your colors and do some decorations on it. So I'm going to put some circles. I can put some lines. You can use different colors. So I want to put some red. I want to put some black on here. I can do lines. I can do triangles or squares or swirls, whatever you want to do. Smiley faces, silly faces, maybe even give this one a bow tie. Oh, that's not a bow tie, that's a regular tie. <laughs> and then your mommy and daddy are gonna help you. You're gonna put this on your head just like this and they're gonna tape it. And then we're gonna, let's do, we're gonna do some questions while we wear our crowns. And I am so excited to see how your crowns turn out. So if you make a crown and you would like to share, feel free to link it at the bottom in the comment section and show us how your crown turned out. So remember, our crowns remind us that God is always with us, just like he was with baby Moses when he became not a baby anymore, but a kid in the palace. So we are going to look at our memory verse we learned last week, and let's see how much of it maybe you can remember. It can be a little tough, but it's really important to keep our memory verses in our hearts so we can remember them, and it'll help us think, should I be scared right now? No, because God is with us, always. Always. So, Travis read, uh, helped us read it last time, but this time I'm going to read it. And that is Acts 2.25. It says, I saw that God before me, so he was before me all the time. Sometimes? No. All the time. Nothing can shake me. Nothing can shake me because God is right by my side. Is he far away? 
No! He's right by my side. Just like Mr. Frog is by my side right now. God is also by my side, and he's by your side too. Jesus is always with me, and I will not be afraid. So thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so excited to see some of your crowns, so make sure to post them in the comment section.